you know that there are various elements that exist around us like gold silver calcium sodium etc now there are some elements or you can say there are some atoms of those elements that do not exist individually they exist in pairs of 2 or 3 or so so as to form a molecule so the correct way to write them or represent them is writing their molecular formula so what is the molecular formula of an element well the molecular formula of an element is the symbolic representation of its molecule this indicates the number of atoms present in it for example what is the symbol of chlorine it is cl but we do not write cl like this we always represent chlorine as cl2 this means that two atoms of chlorine combine together to form one molecule of chlorine similarly if you look at hydrogen now hydrogen has the symbol as h but it is represented as h2 because the atomicity of hydrogen is h2 now what do i mean by atomicity here it means that two atoms of hydrogen combine to form one molecule of hydrogen similarly nitrogen n2 the atomicity is 2 you can see similarly oxygen fluorine and chlorine here you can see that two atoms of each of these gases combine together to form one molecule now we we'll look at some more elements look bromine again it is a liquid but here also two atoms of bromine combine together to form one molecule of bromine similarly with iodine it is a solid again two atoms of iodine combine together to form one molecule of iodine similarly you can see the molecular formula of ozone phosphorus and sulfur are o3 p4 and s8 respectively now it would be very good if you memorize these molecular formulas so that you can use these in chemical reactions or writing equations as well 